Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charts. You're tuning into the Crypto Flight Edition. It is our fellow compadre speaking. And today we'll be exploring the Dogecoin and USD pairing. I actually want to pull up a, a pattern that we've already gone over before just to kind of make sure ever, we're all on the same page in terms of what has taken place in the breakout of the pattern, the seller's obligation, the buyer's obligation, and of course, go over some exponential moving averages on the 50 for the daily and the 12 hour. Try to keep it as simple as we possibly can. Just to touch up on where we are with Dogecoin. So let's see what we have in the charts. Welcome back, loyal subscribers. If you're new here, consider joining us. So let's dive right into the charts here. Shall we? All right. So today is March the 31st, 2021, and the current price of Dogecoin is going to be 5.4 cents. It's up approximately 0.5% for the day. Okay. All right. Ladies, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you guys are doing well. ASMR, interesting analysis. New changes on the channel here. All right. So here is the video that we posted on February the 11th, 2021. Uh, a lot of engagement, 1,400 uh, 1, likes, 52,000 views, a lot of engagement in the comment section. Thank you, every single one of you guys. You guys are awesome, actually. This is actually the most views we actually had on the channel. So if you notice on the screen there, this is the pattern I'm going to bring back. If you guys don't remember, this is the rising wedge pattern. Then these are the 12-hour candles. Here it is. That's it. Really simple, guys. So you're looking at the rising wedge pattern. And I'm actually bringing this up to your attention because remember here on the channel, we only focus on support, resistance and patterns. And we look at buyers and sellers in the market, nothing else. And I'm I'm explaining this because right now the sellers form this rising wedge pattern. Well, the buyers and the sellers, but let's just kind of keep it simple and say that the sellers form this pattern and they broke down below this pattern. Now, the technical target for the sellers to reach is still the same. Uh, we've explained this on, on the video. Hopefully, we'll have a link for that video. It's actually 2.6 cents, okay? This simply means that if the sellers actually have control within, the, within this market, then it's likely that they will meet their technical target at about 2.6 cents. But if the sellers are having a hard time meeting their technical target, and it's kind of like they're getting stopped out here, kind of midway between the breakout, okay, the breakdown, a breakout is the same thing, okay, between the breakout here at like 7.2 cents, and if they're having a you know hard time meeting their technical target all the way down to a 2.6 cents, and they're just kind of taking too long, they're taking a long time, and they're just consolidating sideways. What's going on is the buyers realize that. The sellers don't really have what it takes to push the price to the downside. So all they're doing right now is just accumulating as much as they possibly can in preparation for the next move that will likely be to the upside if the buyers, I'm sorry, if the sellers don't have the necessary momentum to push a price down to their technical target. Does that make, hopefully that makes sense, right? Uh, so that's basically what I wanted to stop on and let everyone know. Um, it's kind of in a little tight range. I realized on our previous video, we were saying that it's in a very large range. I think it was in between uh, the 4.1 cent level like somewhere down here, the 4.1 cent level, and extended all the way up to like 7.8 cents. I think that's what we said. Um, it could still be within that range. Obviously, the first thing we would have to do is finish consolidating sideways, right? Whenever it's done, I finish accumulating and everything. And then the first thing we would have to do is break above the top of this box, which is at like 6.3 cents. It appears that the market is having a little bit of trouble getting above that level as we were able to find the double top formation on this area where we said it was going to go up to 7 cents. And that obviously did not happen. Actually, the total opposite happened and it went down to like 5.1 cents. Guys, but that's fine. We're not going to get all of them right, right? Um, and the last thing that I wanted to show you all before we close out is the 50 exponential moving average so we can actually erase everything we like to keep it nice and clean and simple all right that's it really simple so this is the 50 exponential moving average is just kind of giving you an idea of you know where the price is and how much the buying how much buying activity has taken place over the course of like 50 days i think that's what the um, exponential moving average represent um and over the course of 50 days in, in terms of the 12 hour candles here it's just below that line okay so let's pull up the daily i mean that's normal like if we just kind of look at everything because if we look at the areas over here when the price activity kind of took place just below that line of course it just kind of popped back above that line and we're referring to the the dates over here near the uh, 
February the 23rd, 2021. You see how it kind of broke below and they kind of found, found support uh, below that line and they kind of popped back above that line there. Okay, and then the last thing we'll do is we'll close it out on the daily. The daily actually looks a little bit more interesting because it's a nice, clean setup. Uh, there has not been any daily candles to close below the 50 exponential moving average. This is actually... Uh, one next to the most powerful, which is on the three day, my opinion, of course, um, because there's never been any daily candles to close below this line. This does not mean that it cannot and it's not possible to close any candles below this 50 exponential moving average. So let's just wait for the price action to determine what's going to happen. I think it's probably in the best interest for Dogecoin since it has experienced a very substantial move from the uh, recent lows down here back in uh, January 2021, uh, just below a penny actually. Well it, well, it was a penny. Okay, like one point. Yeah, just one penny. Okay, back here again in January 2021. The markets went up like 900%, guys. So, yeah, it's it's I think it's going to take a lot of time. It in the in the healthy case scenario for Doge, it really needs to have a lengthy amount of time to consolidate. I think our projection was like August 2021 this year. Um it could take up to that time. I know a lot of people are looking for this explosions in the markets before then. I'd say it's probably in the best interest if it's kind of consolidating uh, for well over a few months. Um, but again, let's 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 let the markets decide what's going to happen, not me, right? And the last thing that we'll leave you guys out with, uh, we'll just take a look at the exponential moving average on the three-day. Um, one of the things that I was saying that, yeah, it needs time at least, let's say, 60 days for this three-day. Uh, the exponential moving average on the three day, the 50 exponential for it to catch up with the price. And it's all the way down at like three point three cents. OK, it doesn't mean it'll get down there, but I do think it'll take time for this moving average to kind of find the price uh, overhead near the current level. So, yeah, we just have to wait till this plays out, guys. Um, but that's all the information that I have with the exponentials. Just want to let you guys know that it's still perfectly in line above the 50 exponential moving average on the daily. So that looks really good. Uh, I guess I'll give you the level that it is currently at on the daily. I would take the daily more into consideration if you guys are pulling up your charts. Not necessarily the 12 hour because the 12 hour is kind of bouncing up and down. But I mean, it's it's clear to, to see that on the daily, everything is kind of structurally above that line. Even if we go all the way back, dated all the way back to like December 2020, it's been finding perfect support above that. The 50 exponential moving average only wicking resulting in wicks below that line. So let me just give you where it is if I haven't already said that. It's right at the 5.1 cent level. I think on the last video we were saying that 5.1 cents was the previous level of resistance. It came down to that level perfect. Had a small bounce for now. And now we just have to wait and see what's going to take place next in the market. So hopefully we give you guys an update soon. I know we haven't been doing really that many Doge videos. There's not really much to go over. I don't want to kind of, you know, uh, overwhelm you guys with the same thing saying it over and over. Excuse me. Hopefully you guys are pulling up your charts. Uh, it's some pretty interesting stuff. It's, I know it's some say it's arbitrage. It's interesting, guys. I just kind of use it as a reference to understand the ebbs and the flows the best of my ability. And I think I've been doing OK so far. Uh, and of course, not perfect. But that's all I have for you. Wonderful folks. Hopefully you guys are taking care of yourselves, being yourselves, of course. And uh, before we close out, I'd like to offer you more information pertaining to the traditional markets. If you guys are into stocks, uh, we cover that seven days a week. Uh, so subscribe with us at the bell. We'll send you that. That information when it is available okay so that's it so take care of yourselves guys protect your portfolios execute your strategies and we're going to talk very soon and bye for now